Hey everybody, welcome to Cooking 101 with Mimi. Hey. Week five, we are gonna tackle English muffin pizzas. Um, all these people out there that tell me I should be washing my hands, I promise you. <laughs> I wash my hands about 60 times a day and just did. Uh, to all those people that are saying my hair looks great, thank you for noticing. But let's get to the English muffin pizzas. Teenagers, this is easy for you. Okay, I have three in the oven to cut down the time. If you have a bread knife, okay, you take an English muffin very carefully using your kitchen knives. Put your hand on the top and gently go through half, turn it around for safety reasons, and cut the other half. And you'll get a nice English muffin cut in half. And then you just start preparing, okay? You can use sauce that I've flavored up can use whatever sauce you want, spaghetti sauce, a garlic sauce, a marinara, a marinara sauce. If you need to know what that is, Google it. <laughs> but uh, this one I'm gonna start out with sauce. We're gonna make a cheese pizza. We're gonna make a bacon pizza. And we're gonna make a pepperoni pizza today, okay? People keep saying, uh, that I need to step up my game in the food that I cook, but these people that I speak of don't realize that this is for teenagers, not adults. So this right now is a nice garlic Alfredo sauce to go on the bottom. This one. So you take both sauces, you start compiling with the cheese, okay? You add the cheese, nice and neatly, two handfuls. Promise, my, my hands are clean. Promise, pinky swear, gonna make a mess on my stove. We'll make this one some pepperoni. Now you'll notice the pepperoni is not in circles. I cut it up because it melts better uh, into the cheese. And the same, the bacon is already cooked. So I, I cut the bacon up as well. All right, so you just sprinkle that on top, spread the toppings out, and now for the feta, we're gonna put uh, mozzarella and feta. This is gonna be a two cheese pizza. Okay, put that on there. Add the feta on top. Looking good, looking good. Get the rest of your cheese for this one because you want it to be cheesy because it's the only topping. You're gonna to add some basil so all three, make it really taste like a pizza. A little bit of black pepper, okay, for flavoring. And on the feta, if you don't like feta cheese, you can use whatever cheese you, you like for the two cheese. Throw some, ba uh, some, some, what do you call it, balsamic vinegar glaze. I use that a lot on pizza, okay? So then you're gonna put it into the oven at 385 degrees carefully, 385, for about 12 to 15 minutes, okay? And then you take them out and they look like that. I'm going to get a rack. A spatula. Every time I say spatula, I think about Ashley. Reese du pair, and you let them cool. They're nice and crispy. Doesn't that one look delicious? Yeah. Okay, you let them cool because I'm using the same pan. Okay, when you put them in the oven, guys, put a little bit of olive oil, either with a paper towel or a brush, just so they don't stick to the pan or the, or the um, aluminum foil, okay? Then you stick them onto the aluminum foil, onto the pan, and in about 12 minutes at 385, you're gonna have some pretty good English muffin pizzas. Okay, we're gonna put these in. Maybe my mother will buy me some pot holders pretty soon, because uh, we'll use his towels. All right, I want everybody to try this at home. Uh, they're a nice little snack. Nice little lunch, dinner. I, I advise that you make about six English muffins because you're teenagers and you can eat a lot. All right, I'll see you next week.
for Cooking 101. We're going to be making some tuna melts. See you later.